it's a huge honor to be asked to, to fill a role that relates so directly to our head of state, uh, Queen Elizabeth II. I've done approximately 20 uh, royal tours, uh, ranging from, of course, Her Majesty the Queen to her mother, Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, and uh, other members of the royal family, uh, including the Earl and Countess of Wessex. For me, one of the key moments of a royal tour is, is seeing that interaction between members of the royal family and Canadians, especially on walkabouts. The numbers of people who, who come out and have that, that moment of exposure with members of the royal family. I say that because my mother saw the Queen from a distance on the streets of Sydney, Nova Scotia in 1959. And her stories were related to her children and now to her grandchildren. So one of the lovely moments for me on a royal tour is to see the crowds, to see that interplay between members of the Canadian public and the royal family because you recognize that what you're witnessing is just not a very special moment for that one person. What you're witnessing is a moment that you know will transcend the, the generations and the decades. That that person, that young boy who, who met Prince William in 2011 will probably one day say to his grandchildren, I remember meeting the king when he was 28 years old on the streets of Charlottetown. It's that type of thing. So that's the power of the crown to, to transcend generations, to transcend decades. It, it's an amazing power, it's an amazing sight to see, and it's one that I, I certainly never tire of being a part of.